What's up, my people? Still coming back at you for more, man. I don't know, you know what I mean? Who's crazier, me or you? You know what I'm saying? Takes two to tango. Peace be with you. Listen to me. We've done a million episodes, and I keep talking about this guy, Jack Westheimer. Most people don't even care about Jack Westheimer, you know what I mean? And we talked about this Norman guitar, Norman Sackheim. You know what I mean? Beat my man Westheimer in the Korea, even though Westheimer, you know what I mean, always said, hey, man. I was the first one in the Korea, man. And we proved him wrong. But we still love him anyway. So I wanted to get a hold of, to show you, you know what I mean, one of the original Korean guitars that Westheimer put out. Man. You know what I mean? It was the G100, which is exactly like this FG7. You know what I'm saying? The first incarnation of it anyway. Take a look at this guy, man. You know what I mean? Take a look at them together, man. You know what I'm saying? Deep inside the hundred acre wood. You know what I'm saying? It's the same guitar, people. You know what I'm saying? It's the same as that getter. Basically, there's a couple things I want to talk to you about. I'll put it down on a slab next to the other guy. You know what I'm saying? We'll take a look at them together. So I'm going to flip you around, man, because that seems to be the appropriate thing to do. <laughs> people, just real quick. You know what I mean? I want to give you a little information. Now, the, the Weiss G100. That's long been known as, you know what I mean, one of the foremost, you know, an example, huge parlor guitars made in Chicago, USA, you know, in the 60s. This is around about 66. You see, it's got the Weiss label. It's a handwritten G100 on here. You know what I mean? That's what the entire instrument looked like. You know, we don't know who made it. You know what I mean? Harmony, you know, know who made it. K, you know, say all kinds of stuff. It might have been K, and I'll show you why. Anyway, man. That was it, man. And that's a Weiss G100, man. So, the Weiss G100, you know, ended up life looking like this. This actually says rare. Rare. It's on reverb, man. Reverberatorious. Because it looks like ours, man. Now, again, you know what I mean? Notice that trademark sort of, you know, that's one of their things, man. Now, this was made in Korea. It even has a label on it still. Made in Korea. But it's a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Than the one we have. So he's got the label here. It says G100. Stamped though. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, all the, the specs, man. Looks be 1960s. Is it made in. We go down here? Korea. See that? Made in Korea. This is a later model. Again, I want you to notice this sort of adjustable tailpiece bridge there. Now, the G100, you know what I'm saying? This was a little bit different than the one that we have. You know what I mean? But ours looks pretty much on the money. I like this one. Now, this says it's, a, it's an Ibanez G100. But it says G100. But it doesn't say Ibanez on the guitar at all. You know what I mean? Here's the guitar. You know what I'm saying? Headstock, blank like ours, but notice it's still got the, you know what I mean, plastic tuning keys, the white plastic tuning keys. You know what I'm saying, man? But the stamp is almost identical to ours. Not exactly, but you know, I mean, look at the, the rosettes all scratched up just like ours. Again, see that bridge, the adjustable bridge tailpiece? This was something that, you know what I mean, was popular at the time, man. I mean, popular at the time. Anyway, but check this out, man. Here's a K. G100 doesn't say exact, but it's G100A. Again, it's got that thing, but notice it's got just that swing trapeze thing. You know, the other brands weren't. You know what I mean? Weiss like to have that special. You know what I mean? Flourish. You know what I'm saying? But this is a G100A. A A. I use my finger. It's the same. That's you know what I mean? Almost the same guitar. So let's pull back, man. Let's take a look at these two together real quick here. Turn that flash on. Hold up, flasher. Yeah, it makes no difference, folks. Flash makes no difference. Anyway, <laughs> so these two guitars, you know, this is one we talked about, the Norman Sackheim, you know, guitar, one of the first Korean ones. You know what I'm saying? Ever. Now, our one probably had a, a bridge just like this, because you can see, you know what I'm saying? It has like a big sort of space right there. And you know I, this is new old stock. You know, I mean, one of those. I'm gonna use this on on the guitar. 
Got a whole bunch of these a couple years back, luckily. They actually make reproduction. See, it's a little smaller. You know what I'm saying? And see how, you know what I mean? It's a little bit smaller there, too. But we're going to use this guy. You know what I mean? We're going to try to bleach this up a little bit. Get rid of that sort of wear pattern. You know what I mean? Make our guy fit. You know what I'm saying? A little reproductive history. So, let's talk more about the guitar at hand here, folks. Now, this... You know what I mean? It doesn't say Korea. It doesn't say Weiss on it. But it's got that G100, you know what I mean, stamp in there. You know what I mean? It's before that, you know what I mean, label. We showed you that label in that little video. That was a point. You know what I mean? It's got this weird sort of... The, the fretboard is like a, a 70s sort of... Like Formica, you know what I mean? It's like a it's like a fake wood grain. It's like a plastic, you know what I'm saying? Like you put this on like a shelf made out of particle board. You know what I'm saying? Because remember how... You know what I'm saying? It was real easy to break through to finish this fake, you know, rosewood thing. So this is like, you know what I mean, impenetrable. It's like plastic, man. Take a look at that, man. You know what I mean? It's printed. It's printed wood. It's not even real. You know what I'm saying? But it served its purpose. Missing the nut. I mean, the one thing I saw a Norman guitar, a normal guitar, that had these exact tuning keys, and the dude who was selling it swore from 1967. So, I, you know what I mean? This is either like a 69 made in Japan, you know what I mean, because that was made in Japan. Or like, you know what I mean, a 74 made in, you know what I mean, Korea. Now, I'm thinking more made in Korea. This is cool, man. Here's the back. Check this out, man. It's got a water slide decal. The Metuchen Bulldogs, man. That's the Metuchen High School, man. You know, the class of 69, which could be, would be Robert Hedges, man. That's Epstein from, you know, and Welcome Back, Cotter. Class of 74. Who was a 74 Bulldog? David Copperfield, man. You know what I mean? He, he married Claudia Schiffer, man. You know what I'm saying? The magician dude, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't remember David Copperfield, man. I don't know if that's his real name. You know what I'm saying? He, he might have been named, like, you know, Morris Lipschitz. Who knows, man? Listen to me, man. I'm saying it, this is Copperfields. I'm saying it's a 74. I think this is first class. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, we're going to use the same strings that are on here. We're going to clean it off. We're going to try to get rid of this. You know what I'm saying? That's all that really needs to be done. We're going to glue on a new nut. I already showed you the bridge. So let's, you know what I mean? Let's slack. I'm not even going to take these strings off, people. I'm so lazy. Let's slacken them strings and glue on that nut. All right, you nuts. Cash you nuts later, man. It's the sound of laundry being done chores. Regular Sunday, I'm down in the basement, avoiding all responsibility. Ah, I love it. But you pay for your satisfaction somewhere along the line, my man. All right, so we got the frets blackened up. You know what I mean? We got those strings like real. You know what I mean? Lose. And we're just going to run the sand and block over it, you know what I'm saying? Even them out, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, fast frack job. <laughs> That's some shiny shiny again. Alright, so at this point, you know, usually I'd be sort of polishing up stuff and doing stuff. But let's try to get rid of this, you know, ghost here. This patina ghost. So I got some household bleach. You know what I mean? Some water. I'm just going to apply it with an old pair of, old pair of, of draws. I'm just doing you know, it lightly, you know what I mean? I'm just going to spray a little bit of water on the draws. You know, dab it with some bleach, you know what I'm saying? Like a 50-50. And then try to get it all off with the water. And I'll see it in two hot seconds if that works. All right. Otherwise, I'll be cursing. And like, man, I fucked up the guitar. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I'm Bobby G. All right. So he did a little hydrogen peroxide in there too. A little bleach. And you can't really tell. You know what I mean? Looking at it, it's done a whole lot, but it has done a little bit on the ends. You know what I mean? Cause that's where it needs it. Cause it's the same, you know what I mean, width. You know what I mean? It's just not the same length. So these, you know, is where I really concentrated on it, sort of, you know what I mean? But anyway, man, it's not going to be that big of a deal. So, you know what I mean? Half and half. Let's clean this guy off with some regular old furniture polish. Get all this bleach and hiding the peroxide remnants off there, man. The whole guitar, man, everything. We'll try to be real careful around that bulldog's uh, decal on the back. <laughs> Cleaned up. You know what I mean? Cosmetically. Took a better look here. There's a bit of damage here at the bottom here. Crack. You know what I mean? 
this is a little loose. So I'm gonna put a bunch of tight bond in this crack here and run a pipe clamp, you know what I mean, along it this way. You know, we need to pull this little dent back in and put a, you know what I mean, quick grip on this, you know what I mean, hold it down that way. So I'll see you when that's done. That looks like serious surgery. The crack was actually, you know what I mean, separating not only the back, but it was actually separating the front on both sides of the, you know what I mean, strap button, man. It was a little fucked up. So we got a lot of glue pumped in there, man. It's clamped nice and tight, man. You know what I'm saying? We restored the virginity of the Bulldogs, bruh. So let's let it, you know what I mean, clamp overnight, man. You know what I mean? We got you, big guy. Look after yourself. Peace be with you. All right, so it's the next day. This guy's a solid one piece again. Took the clamps off. You know, we wiped the glue off. And because we put that phony lemon pledge on it yesterday, you know what I mean? The glue came right off. As opposed to having to scrub it and, you know what I mean? Just a little tiny bit of, you know, a damp rag. Bonus, man. So look at that. One piece again. You know what I'm saying? All the cracks are gone. So now I kind of want to just do some spot polishing on it. There's some, like, you know what I mean? messed up areas around here that are like you know i mean, just want to put a little bit of rubbing compound you know on here or hit that up with a magic eraser get rid of that that you know any paint smudges and stuff it's when you bang into a wall you know what i'm saying moldings and stuff you know what i'm saying by you know what i mean entrances and stuff like that are painted white you know what i'm saying we'll just hit it up do some spot polishing on it spot polishing and rubbing I'll see you in a hot moment after that's done Peace and shiny again this right here looks like it was like some kind of uh, like damage you know what i mean i'm just gonna hit it up with the black furniture marker man i'll see you when that's complete it looks so much better you know what i mean we could obviously do the whole damn guitar because there's all kinds of little cracklet and crunkling all around but you know what i mean the thing's so scratched up doesn't even you know what it makes sense a little bit of wear that was just glaring, you know, in my eye anyway, man. So, a little bit better. So, what we're going to do now, we've got a little nut here that's kind of, you know what I mean? It's probably about a millimeter too small, but it'll be all right, you know what I mean? It'll be fine. Yeah. See that? It's perfect. Let's open up the, uh, the, the grooves in there a little bit with a rat tail file and glue it on. Clamp it on. Clamp it on down. See you when we're done. All right, so I had it clamped. Actually, I had to put a little booster seat. You see in there? A little piece of popsicle stick. Hold it up. You know what I mean? A real professional would like call it a real new nut out of bone or whatever, you know? This is like, you know what I mean? A $5 guitar or whatever I spent for it. You know what I'm saying, man? And man, it's... You know, so we had to make some clearance. Did a good job. That'll do perfectly. All right, so let's... Pretty much get some cleaner wax on this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Get a little sheen to it. Took a little bit of steel wool, fine grade steel wool to that tailpiece. is looking like a shiny new dime. Shiny new dime. Alright people, I'll see you after we're all shined up. Shine box. Shiny man. Shine man. Nice and nice and nice and sheeny shiny. That's a pretty guitar. Pretty, pretty guitar. Look at that, man. What kind of oaf would do that, man? What kind of an oaf? Well, we kind of manhandled this guitar a little bit more than we expected. We don't use any kind of butcher's wax on here. Just use regular old mom's cleaner wax. You know what I'm saying? It's like a fake Formica surface. So, let's pull these strings back and get this bridge on. Now, I noticed here, I thought this was like a little piece of wood. But this is actually little lines that were drawn onto the body under the finish to tell the you know what i mean tell the setup guy where the bridge goes you know what i mean that's a click a quick kind of you know what i mean shortcut there man man that's so let's use those as a guide and get this strung up there's one more thing i want to show you before the glam shots so let me show it to you right now so we got the e and the e intonated and adjusted action wise that's why these bridges are great man you know what I mean? These old guitars that are all, you know, with their warped steel reinforced necks. You know what I'm saying? You can just bring the action down a little bit. It's great. Try so a nice buttery action set. 
to the intonation on these. See how it intonated a little bit behind that line? I don't know if that's because of the neck moving or just, you know what I mean? The me mechanics of each individual guitar are different, folks. You know what I mean? Not, no guitar is like, you know, exactly the same like a fingerprint. So what I want to do right now, the last thing I want to kind of do, is I'm going to just take, you know what I mean, the string aside from each point in the uh, bridge saddle. Just take a little, you know, in your rat tail file and just give a little tiny groove for each string. Very slight one. Just so it stays. I mean, this is not something that was done originally. But it's something that I find really improves the tone of the guitar. Alright, so I'll see you at the glam shots, people. Glamour time. Then I'll say, peace be with you. Look after yourself. G100, look after yourself. Peace be with you. My first guitar was a crappy Korean guitar. And I'm so glad that it wasn't this guitar, man. This thing's a dog. But it's real fun to beat on, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Something about it. It's got like a, I think it's got like a, a loose brace, maybe. You know what I mean? Under, under the bridge. You know what I mean? It's got like a little reverberation sometimes when you get crazy with it. Not enough to go hunting it down again. You know what I'm saying? But it's a nice little guitar. It's loud. Very, very loud. You know what I'm saying? And I know that this belongs to uh, David Copperfield, class of 74, as opposed to my man Epstein. Because these screws just seems like mid 70s to me, man. You know what I mean? That's when they started doing that. I don't know, man. Our, our friend, the Matuchin Bulldog, man. You know what I'm saying? He looks pissed off, man. Fuck with my guitar, man. But it looks nice now. It's all shiny, at least. Why don't we put it back into its little, you know what I mean, storage state? You know what I'm saying? Get a good look at that for Micah. For Micah, phony, phony rosewood. That is real cheesy. Rosettes. My Korean rosette fell away like that too, man. I don't know what kind of imbecile was, you know, using like, what was he using? A nail as a pick? You know what I'm saying? A sharpened screw? You fucking douchewad. You know what I'm saying? Careful with the merchandise. So I don't know, man. You know what I mean? David Copperfield, you know what I mean? Mary Cody Shiver, man, that's true. You know what I'm saying? He used this guitar performer's first magic trick, man. He whipped it out, and all the chicks magically disappeared, man. Peace out, man. Look after yourself. Let's hear it. Look after yourself. Let's hear it. Look after yourself. Peace be with you. Let's hear it. Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? Considering that this is a big time celebrity magician's guitar, man, I think we all need a magical entrance, man. So I want you to focus your magical powers on your device right now. And say with me, with all forces that you have, Abracadouchebag. Oh yes, that's very nice, folks. And it even appeared with a cable on the third fret. What a bonus that is. The Weiss G100. This is the first one out of Korea. I think it's a prototype, man. I've never seen another one of these countertop fretboards on one of these guys, man. And it was a joy playing it because of this adjustable bridge. Usually these guitars are next like... You know what I'm saying? Plus I could bring the action down real low. You know what I'm saying? Real slinky. It's alive with pleasure, this little guy. 1974. Weiss G100. Have I ever told you how good it feels to hold you? How can I help it if I feel this way? And though I'm really trying, I think I may start crying. My heart can't wait another day When you kiss me, I just got to say Baby, I love you Baby, I just love you, I say Baby, I love you, I say Whoa, whoa, whoa Ronnie, wash your hands, please, wash your hands Peace
peace be with you. Magical exit, man. Phil Spector, wash your butthole. <laughs>